Hello everybody, Brent Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so we're back for episode number two, and we're gonna get this shit on the go. Alright, so first of all, I just want to say that this game is really, really... They really want you to buy their shit, okay? Like, that's just... In order to get, like, all the cool bounce and all that kind of stuff, they really, really, really want you to, um... To, uh, to buy their stuff. Not, there is kind of ways around that, and we're going to try to do those ways around that, okay? Uh, first of all, when you hit start and you go into your inventory, you have this thing called riches, okay? Now, you have these astral diamonds, and you got rough astral diamonds. So these ones can be converted into these ones, and these both can be earned, right? Alright, so now, what you do with these astral diamonds is you got to go into the market, and you got to go in you can sell them and stuff like that and that's what we're going to try to do we're just going to try to farm astral diamonds after a while and uh we're going to go and do the market thing later on with these uh, characters that i have um i do have two characters my other character is a ranger so uh we'll see how that one's going it's up to level 27 now so i've been doing quite a lot of gameplay with the other one to try to familiarize myself with how things are going in this game and stuff like that all right so this is where we're going to get our first quest from sergeant knox and we're going to get uh, many quests from this guy and we're going to get many quests throughout this whole game um so on here you're going to see that uh right here quest available you're gonna see these right here and then this is the person you kind of gotta have to talk to like as important wise blah, blah blah so there's another place to come and look and see if you have quests that have to be done in a certain area and by holding the left bumper you obviously change your list at the bottom and if you hit uh, the back button you can kind of see what the buttons are here to you know kind of like go and do whatever action you need to so it's a little bit of a learning curve to play this game but you know once you get that down packed it shouldn't be too hard right all right so let's talk to sergeant knox will is dead damnation too young to go out like that i want to thank you for what you did on the bridge we might have lost protector's enclave if the harbinger breached the walls please Look at the chest behind me for a token of my appreciation. He's got some nice friggin' armor though, anyways. Alright, so, goodbye. Alright, so we'll go and check out his appreciation. A hunter's blade. Alright, alright. Better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. So we gotta talk to him again. Oh, we lost Oops. I understand you lost quite a few of your belongings when the ship you were on was destroyed right. by the Dracolich. So he's gonna give us some clothes. Here. We're much, gonna go get some clothes. I can supply you with some off-duty clothing. I'm Cheap sure you're going to want to relax and get out of your <laughs> combat gear at some point. All right. Just supply, Sergeant Queen. Not this guy right Hello, here. Adventurer. So. About what happened on the bridge? You stopped the Harbinger. We all owe you a debt. Knox asked me to set you up with some clothes to replace those you lost. I'm afraid I don't have anything fancy, but at least they're warm. Take them. Perfect. So now we get some clothes. Alright, so now these clothes, you can go into your inventory over here and go equip. Oh, equip and equip. There. They're just peasant clothes, so they're really not like all that important. You got identify scroll you can use on your boots, so that's uh, you're gonna get um, some equipment that you're gonna need these scrolls for. Now, if you notice that there was a bound one and a lesser one, <laughs> all right, they, this is something that they just added into the game is that you're gonna have stuff that's bound and you're gonna have stuff that's not bound, and it's another thing for them so you can go buy more bags, but doing certain missions you can acquire bags so we're just gonna kind of go with the bags that we acquire and <clears throat> not spend money <laughs> that being the whole uh, gimmick behind their uh, their thing here so we are gonna go back and return this um, I'm also happy with the mounts that the horses that they give me <laughs> it's better than running so there we go I have some more. There. Now, someone stole some friggin' crown, so we're gonna have to go after them. Before that, well, before that, we have some quests. Alright. Greetings. Is there something you wish to discuss? There. Um, I think 
you can... I'm not sure how that works, but I think you have to buy the Dragonborn uh, class, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to go and do a quest where you're going to have to learn about the Dragonborn. Then this guy here is going to ask us to go and play this game of Warps. Well, it's just these stupid things right here. So we're just going to have to go and find three of these. They're pretty easy to find, but it's... To gain as much experience as you possibly can right off the bat of the game, and that's the important thing, um, is to gain as much experience as you can because you kind of want to get like to level 12 as fast as you can so you can invoke stuff, um, and I'll get to that afterwards. Now, we have an envelope up there, and I just remembered that if you go in here, you can actually like claim this stuff. So if you go into your mailbox and you go up, and you click on that. Oh, and it says take item with X. And you take the item. And now it was kind of like a, a beginner's kind of thing there. Uh, like welcome to the game. <laughs> so you get uh, your bound dies. This is just for clothes or whatever. And then some small party poppers. It's kind of dumb really. But anyway, it's just, you know. Welcome to the game. Thanks for not spending any money. Here's a cheap gift. <laughs> Alright, so here's uh, another orb right up here. And this is also the guy we have to talk to for that Dragonborn quest. So this is like a two-in-one kind of little area. Well, it was, the graphics aren't that a bad of a game. They're they're okay. They're not... Uh, I've seen shittier graphics on games. So, uh, where's the guy? Where is he? I thought the Dragonborn guy was there. Or maybe he wasn't. Maybe he's... Oh, he's over here. That's where he is. So we'll just go... Sorry, my bad. I was in the wrong the wrong corner. That's okay. We just got to talk to this guy real quick. And uh, well after that... Uh, Dragon uh, board complete. Yay! <laughs> no, I, I would go and listen to them talk and blah, blah, blah. But we're just going to try to play the game and, and go on as far as you can. Um, the storyline, you know... It's kind of weird because it's hard to follow with all these other quests and you're not sure if they're tied in with the main storyline or not. Uh, that's kind of like my basis, what I see so far, because you're jumping all over the place for storyline, for quests and stuff. And I'm not really 100% sure if these quests have anything to do with the friggin' story whatsoever. But, you know, it's a quest complete and all that good stuff. So... Uh, yeah, we're going to try to make our way over to that last orb, and it's quite the hike, actually, which kind of sucks, but at least it's not too much farther. Um, and then after that, we'll go on with the other quest that he gave me, and uh, we'll call it a day, right? Uh, I'll try to keep these videos kind of like around, well, I don't know, 15 and under 20 minutes, and um, that way, you know, like, they're still fun to play, but, you know, not to bore you to death either, you know, with uh, constant uh, grinding of this. But I'm going to be uh, compiling these in with my World of Tank videos, so um, I might, because this game I could probably, like, pump out a whole bunch of videos in one shot um, and, like, render them all out and crap like that. I could probably maybe start posting two a day, like, one World of Tanks and one of this, and... Oh, we'll see how that goes. So tonight, I guess I'll just spend the night up grinding and uh, making videos, really. So, <laughs> all right. So uh, we got this done. So that's that quest. It's all complete now. Yay! All right. So now we're off to go and complete that other one that uh, we wanted to start with. So it's going after the crown. And like I said, does this have anything to do with the main story? Who knows? I doubt it, because it's just people stealing the crown, right? Yeah. Alright, so let's get through this little lovely little portal and buzz on down here. Uh, and you're going to see later on what I mean, that they're, they try to force you to go and, you know, go to the store and buy stuff. I think I came across two or three quests near the beginning of the game that sent you to somebody that you had to buy something from them in order to like, you know, I guess have bonuses towards the game in a sense. Um, 
I see a lot of people they go and they, they, they spend money and on the screen you're going to see every once in a while that someone acquired something from a chest is because that person actually went and spent money somewhere and got a key to unlock this chest and you know, there we go right there see right in front of you <laughs> oh, that's so funny alright well, like I said if they come to the point where they go and they um, they let us earn keys as to oppose of you know like you having to go buy them would probably be a lot more fun uh, and more encouraging for people to actually maybe want to go and you know buy some but when it's mainly all just 100 percent buy 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 well it's not very encouraging at all right so yeah um, so we're gonna go through here this is uh, like I said part of the, uh, the one to that's right so we're gonna go investigate. Let's actually start killing stuff. Yeah, kind of missed that. It was just a uh, ten minutes of or eleven minutes of us walking around and doing quests, but we'll uh, start getting into some action now. Just get so like I said, pretty much well by the time this uh, match is done, match. Uh, I'm still thinking of World of Tanks here. Uh, when this level is complete, I'll call it an episode. That way, you know, like, we're just gonna do things slow a little bit at a time, and, you know, I think that would be the best way to go about it. But, like, yeah, I find the gameplay, like, the actual, like, killing, uh, the combat system pretty fun. It's pretty immersed, especially when you start getting more skills. Uh, it makes the game a lot more interesting, like, you know, just, you know, hacking and slashing like this. Uh, or, you know, you get some little corny move anyways. But there's a lot of, like, stats and stuff you can kind of, you know, uh, build upon. And we'll get, like I said, into that all later on as well. So every main character has kind of something that they can access, like, in one of those. So if you have, like, a party of everybody that has, like, one of those abilities to naturally activate, you know, like, I'm assuming that the cleric would be the religion kit one, and, you know, the adventure kit, uh, I don't know who that one would be. Um, then, I obviously, this is the thief. You have the mage, so that would be the mage. Uh, would be the arcane ones. Nope, that was kind of horrible. Ah, uh, where are you looking at? There you go. Oh, I forgot about my knives I could throw at them. <laughs> Later on, the amount of drops you get is actually pretty insane. Um, I was going through certain areas, and by the time I'd be done the area, I'd be like so full, it's unreal. Like, and I haven't even gotten into the point where I got to start like uh, crafting stuff yet in my other game. So it's, I, I guess it's pretty farther down the line where they, they introduce, you know, the crafting aspect of um, what you're gonna do with all this kind of stuff. Use a health potion. Yeah, let's use a health potion. Sounds good. Take that. Alright. Alright, kicked his ass. See, some of I wish all the items were like kind of like run over and just pick it up, but you had to actually press A to accept them. Because you can kind of, you can see what they are, and you, I guess you can accept it or not. So, But at first little while, I've always picked up everything just so I could sell it. And I don't even spend any money on the game, really. Like, even the money that I pick up here is just because of the simple fact that you're always constantly picking up better better gear as you're going around so you don't really need to buy anything um, I haven't been really focusing on the fact that you know like all those like uh, all the kits where you can go around in uh, dungeons and constantly you know, reap the rewards of all those stuff but I figure just doing this right now would be the best thing to do you know, we can just grind our character and I'd say about after five hours of gameplay, you should be somewhere in the level 20 area, um, guaranteed. Just, I don't know, I was. <laughs> and I was just constantly grinding and just doing the, the, the quests, really, you know, and not really attacking the guys much unless I had to. Uh, other than that, it was uh, not too bad, really. Take that, take that. And I don't want to use that on him, so I'm just gonna hack and slash my way here until 
He's like dead. Alright, so what do you have to say? This is the guy we gotta talk to. They're here to steal the crown of Neverwinter. All right. They almost got to it. They entered the den, resting in the lower All right. Forest. So did I already check that out? Yeah. So that would right be the now. wizard. I'm assuming we'd Sealed get that. The the I don't know walls. if there's anything over there's here. I'll go look right quick. On the back wall. Uh, yeah. And this one is the the, the religion. See, they're. I don't know if they all look like that though. They all have like that little. But they're different. You just gotta look for the little glowing things, and then lore is pretty important too, because then you're always learning stuff about the the areas. And I think there's also like um, like things that you actually have to go and collect. I don't know. Uh, it's part of the uh, part of the lore section of the game. I don't like I said. Uh, I don't think you get an achievement for it, but we'll have to have a look at that. All right, what the hell are all these little all the rotten things? Huh? There, take this. Die. Oh, yeah. Excellent, excellent. That was pretty fun. <laughs> uh, let's see. Are we going this way? Yeah, we're going this way. Try to skim through this as kind of quickly as possible, really. Alright, so we got more people to kill in here. And what's this? Oh, there's some girl sitting on the top of that. I didn't notice that the first time around. Alright. Kick your ass. Let's go over here. Yeah, I don't remember that. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. Skeleton soldier, eh? Alright, oops. I think I used the wrong bloody potion. I did too. Alright. Ah, you're here. Oh, wait. Are you? Here I am. Oh, quite. I have trouble at times being sure if I'm viewing the present or one possible future. I'm a seer, you see. Oh, well, that's In that girl. In most of my visions, you okay. rescued me. But there were a few where I had to escape on my own. And a handful I'd rather not dwell on. Yes, my visions oh, right. and their actions will have a great impact on the future of Neverwinter and the Excellent. entire Sword Coast. Okay, so I actually don't remember. Consisted <laughs> by you in my own quest. No, no details now. I've delayed. All right, more crap. So, all right, that was interesting. I, like I said, I didn't remember <laughs> talking to her the first time around. Uh, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Let's get going. Uh, all right, we better use a potion here. Just uh, getting a little low on health. Got to be getting close to that boss, I think. Got a few more rooms to go, and that'll be it. Now, this kind of stuff. For, oh no, that's not it. I thought it was one of those things that you could use to enchant, but I guess I was wrong. That's okay. So that's just kind of like crap to sell. And we're just gonna try to beat the crap out of these guys. Da, 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 da. Almost done. Yeah, it's. I'll enjoy it. I can't wait to get more abilities with this rogue though, because this one right here is pretty pretty good, but I'm sure there's a lot better ones out there. Oh, let's uh, get rid of you. Alright, thank you. Alright, excellent. So that one's gonna be the religious one, right? Yeah. Hey, how did you, where did you guys come from? That was kinda weird. Alright. Yeah, I figure the rogue is probably one of the most OP characters in this game. Um, it's one of them. Uh, I, from what I hear, the cleric is supposed to be pretty bitchin' too. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to eventually try that out. Maybe I'll trade in my uh, my hunter for a cleric eventually. We'll see. Um, join the hunter though. It's not a bad uh, bad class. You know, not, not so great for solo, but you know, it's uh, not a bad class. Alright, so. Kinda got something here. What did we get? Alright, so we got more crap there. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, now. Uh, we got our powers. Okay, so here's one of the things you can start, like, um, 
uh, yeah, building up. <laughs> Where are those words? Uh. <laughs> Alright, so the one that we're using the most, this is your left trigger, and that's your normal attack, so we're just going to build up the normal attack one first. Uh, that way our attacks are a lot stronger than normal, right? And then we can go to our inventory, and then now we can actually look at that box. So we're gonna every once in a while you're gonna get crap from them. <laughs> All right. So the next one is level 10. All right. So let's keep her grinding. We're almost to the boss. See that little circle down there on the map? I believe that's our boss. So or no, that's the save point before the boss. So yeah. Um, Go down here, kick some more ass, grind, grind, grind. Uh, what did I, I still didn't get a new, oh no, that kind of sucks. Oh look at that, they're coming right for me. That's awesome. I didn't want to walk all the way around there for nothing. Alright, that's good, that's good. So this, I believe, yes, this is the boss. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then we get our first quest done. Woohoo, so we're up to 21 minutes actually, so... Uh, a little bit longer than I wanted, but that's okay. We're almost there. That's right. Oh, look at the guardian. It's a big skeleton and some pretty nice looking armor, actually. What a waste. Keep an eye on the skeleton. Alright, so let's get up here and kick the skeleton's ass. Guardian of the Night. Ooh, you sound scary. Alright. He didn't like that. Oh yeah, what a dodge. Get over here. I really don't care about your skeleton buddies right now. You're just going to keep calling them back. It just makes more ads for me to destroy. Oh, what a dodge. Oh, another awesome dodge. Take that to the back. Oh, bitch. What a nasty name. What's the whole point of the Nasher thing, anyways? Oh, whatever. Alright, so let's get up here. We'll go collect uh, whatever we need to collect. Alright, so at the end of every kind of like boss and level and crap like that, they're gonna reward you with like a treasure chest. And sometimes it's good stuff, sometimes it's uh, meh, it's okay stuff. Alright, so let's get the hell out of here. Go do what we gotta do. Go kill some shit. Uh, I don't think there was anything over there. And if there was, oh well. So let's go. Because, like, it's all low level crap, really, that you don't want to really much waste your time on, because I don't care about it. That's uh, only low level shit, right? Alright, so let's get the heck out of here, and then we can go and cash this quest in, call it an episode, and that's right. Um. I do hope y'all enjoy like the gameplay like so far. I know the beginning of every game is always a little bit slow and a little bit, you know, tedious, but once you start unlocking things it makes it for a little bit more fun, right? Yeah. A little bit more fun. That's what we like. Everybody likes a little bit of fun in their life. Ah, uh, come on, load. Alright, excellent. So now we can go and head off to the Sergeant Knox and go uh, cash this check. This check. <laughs> go cash this friggin' quest in. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, yeah, what a jump. Alright, so this is our first quest done. Protectors on play. Be passes will blow to the vault so soon after Valinda's attack. Thanks for your help in defending the vault. Unfortunately, the Nashus got away with the crown of Neverwinter. The crown is a powerful symbol of rightful rule in this city must be found, for the Nashus can use it to start a rebellion. Alright, so that uh, finishes that quest. And then we'll accept the this one and we'll start that one for the next the one. We'll still have a chance to recover it. Just need to catch the two thieves who escaped and trace where the Nashus are hiding the crown. We know that one of the thieves, a sly rogue called Honor Ray, uses a ruined building near the Driftwood Tavern as their hideout. The Nashus will flee if they see me or my squad approach, but you might be able to corner her and find out if Honor still has the crown. Alright, so uh, now that's what we gotta do. We gotta go find these tunnels and uh, find somebody and 
coerce them to give us the crown, I guess. Maybe, you know. We'll find out next time on Neverwinter. So, thumbs up, everybody. Peace, and we'll see you next time.